to the page two, uh, you can see at the top that the plan was written by the integrated planning cell that uh, has multiple uh, services listed there. Um, it's dated the 13th. Um, and we see that there's sign off here from Superintendent Phil Liu of the RCMP, uh, Chief Superintendent Carson Party of the OPP, and Acting Superintendent Rob Bernier uh, of the Ottawa Police Service. You see that? Okay, and so I just want to, if you look at the bottom of this uh, the screenshot here, you can see that this is a 73 page document. You see that? Okay. Okay. And so obviously we don't have time, unfortunately, to fully digest this entire document. Um, but is it fair to say that um, prior to the police operation on February 18th to 20th, as well as prior to the invocation of the Emergencies Act, you had never seen this document? No. Okay. Um, Sorry, we... no, it is, it, yes, it is fair to say that okay. no, I had never seen it. <laughs> Thank you for that clarification. Um, and so you suggested multiple times in your evidence this morning uh, that to your knowledge, the operational plan that existed at the time of, the, of February 13th was by no means an actual plan to actually end the protests in Ottawa. Is that a fair representation of your that evidence? Was, that was my understanding, yes. Okay. And you also testified that it was not a plan that you or the RCMP had confidence in. Is that correct? At least that was your understanding. The, if there wasn't a plan, then okay. we probably didn't have confidence in it. Fair enough. But as you can see here, there is a 73-page document dated February 13th that a senior member of the RCMP has signed off on. Correct? Yes. Okay. So if we just scroll down, as I said, we don't have time to review the entire document, but we do have a table of contents here. And so I just want to go through a few components of the parts uh, or component parts of the overall plan so that you understand kind of the general scope of it. And so if we scroll down a little bit, we see there's a deployment plan, right? A reference to a deployment plan. Sorry, the entire deployment plan is on page 13. Yes, so I'm just, I'm just trying to understand the scope of the plan since I only have 10 minutes, we can't actually digest the entirety of the plan. So you can see that there's some content in relation to deployment plan. Sorry, is this a table of contents? Yes. So the entire deployment plan fits onto one page? Well, a description of the deployment plan is, on, okay. And then we see a reference to investigative plan. Correct. I, 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 I can't speak to whether this is a good plan or a complete plan or not. I haven't read this, obviously. Right, and so you hadn't read it, obviously, no, then. No, I rely I, on the inputs of uh, the experts around me to uh, reassure me or not that there is a capacity to move forward. Okay, so let's turn to page eight. And we see the objectives listed, if we could scroll down. Uh, and it says to facilitate a resolution through de-escalation, graduated, measurable, and multi-phased response while ensuring the safety of participants, citizen, and members of participating agencies and return the city of Ottawa to a state of normality. And so you referenced earlier in relation to the plan that from your understanding, all it was was to continue the negotiations essentially that were already taking place, correct? Listen, I am, I am um, hesitant to speak to fragments, but I don't know that that objective one looks like the enforcement action that actually happened later that week. Okay, well, I can If they tell talk you about a, a de-escalation, uh, graduated, measurable, and multi-phased response um, sounds like something that would take longer than the 24 to 48 hours that the enforcement action actually took on uh, Friday and Saturday. But I'm no expert on this, so my Fair lawyers enough. are probably glaring at me for uh, <laughs> uh, opining on this too much. Fair enough. Well, I can tell you that the experts on the plan have testified and they have testified that this was the plan that they were acting on on the weekend of February 18th when they completed the POU operation. Would you have any reason to disagree with that? Uh, I think uh, evaluating uh, various testimonies is the job of the commissioner. Fair enough. Okay. Um, and I just want to pull up... You're pretty close. Well, not pretty close. You're over the end. So if you can try and wrap it up, please. 
And so to circle back to the comments you provided in relation to the readiness of police plans as of the 13th, um, I take it you would agree with me that perhaps there was a little bit more substance to the plans than you were aware of on the 13th. Uh, I am unable to speak to that. Okay. And we've heard evidence that the Ottawa police were required to acquire approximately 2,200 additional police officers from across the country to support this plan and to successfully complete the POU operation that occurred on the weekend of February 18th. Would you have any reason to disagree with that? Um, I wasn't uh, aware of, I wasn't following at that presentation of evidence, so I can't comment on that. Fair enough. And uh, you may have heard or not, uh, that this was the largest POU operation in Canadian history. For that, that I was aware of. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Those are my questions. Okay, well, thank you. Um, this uh, is a little early, two minutes early. We don't normally give an hour and two minutes for lunch, but I think uh, today we will uh, as a special occasion. Thank you for um, your generosity. So we'll come back at 2 o'clock. The commission is in recess until...